now we are going to discuss about the stability analysis in Z domain. So for a digital signal system, it's necessary to for all the system, it's necessary to check the stability of the system. Okay. So for this, for in order to uh, analyze the stability of the system, we are using Z transform. So here h of n satisfies the condition sigma n equal to minus infinity to infinite h of n less than infinity. So this is the condition for the stable system. So h of n is the impulse response of an LTA discrete time system. So it's sigma n equal to minus infinity to infinite h of n value will be less than infinite means the system is said to be stable and uh, one more definition its system function includes the unit circle its system transfer function includes the unit circle means we can say this is the stable one and uh, one more condition is that a causal LTA system is stable means if and only if all the poles of H of Z lies inside the unit circle so next condition if the system function includes the unit circle so that is one of the condition second one if all the poles of the h of z h of z is nothing but transfer function so all the poles of the transfer function lies inside the unit circle so if these two conditions are satisfied we can say this is the stable system Okay, so now we are going to see some example. So here the se sequence h of n equal to a power n into u of n. So here the range of a from 0 to 1. Okay, so for this it's a sequence h of n impulse response h of n. So for this we are calculating h of z equal to z by z minus a this is the z transform of this sequence h of z equal to z by z minus a next we know that roc is modulus of z greater than a so here z minus a so we are taking modulus of z greater than a next we have to so for checking the stability of the system we should know the pole. So pole is nothing but the denominator. So z minus a equal to 0 means the pole. z equal to a. So this is the pole. We have to, For calculating the pole, we have to equate the denominator to 0. We will get pole. So we have only one pole. Because this is a first order system. So z equal to a. So here we have to mark the A here. Why we are marking the A here means So this is the pole in this problem. But the condition is there A value is greater than 0 and less than 1. What is the condition? The A value is greater than 0 and less than 1 means the A should be in between 0 and 1. So this is the unit circle. So this is the unit circle. So A in between 0 and unit circle. Next the ROC modulus of Z greater than A. That means we have to mark the ROC outside of the pole A. Okay. So here, now the pole will be inside of the unit circle. So finally the pole will be inside of the unit circle. So we can say this is a stable system. What is the condition for this? The pole should be inside of the unit circle 
and one more thing the roc contains the unit circle so this is the roc so the roc contains the unit circle so here we can say this is a stable system next to one h of n equal to minus a power n into u of n so here the modulus of minus a varies from 0 to 1 so for this is a transform h of z equal to z by z plus a so here the roc may the roc will be modulus of z greater than modulus of minus a next we know that pole so z plus a equal to 0 means we will get pole z equal to minus a for calculating pole we have to equate the denominator to the 0 z equal to minus a next we have to mark the region so here the minus a will be the minus modulus of minus a will be greater than 0 and it will be below 1 so that means here minus a so that will be in between 0 and unit circle because it will be in between 0 and 1 so here also the pole will be in between 0 and 1 so here also the ROC contains unit circle so this is a stable system here see the diagram See, see the sequence h of n equal to a power n into u of n so here a greater than 1 so they have given a greater than 1 so the h of z h of z is nothing but the z transform of the sequence will be z by z minus a so we have the roc is modulus of z greater than a modulus of z greater than a next its pole will be equal to a so the pole will be z equal to a so here the a value will be greater than a greater than unit circle 1 1 a value will be greater than 1 so here this is the this is the unit circle and this is the value of a because the a value is greater or is above is outside of the unit circle next the roc is greater than a means the roc is outside of the pole a here the roc is outside of the pole a not out it the, uh, the ROC is not the outs is not outside of the unit circle the ROC is outside of the pole A so here the ROC does not contain the unit circle so in this pro diagram the ROC does not contain the unit circle and Z equal to A lies outside the unit circle so we can say this is an unstable system ok so the H of Z that means the transfer function does not contain the unit circle and the poles or lies outside the unit circle so these two conditions are not satisfied so for the stable system the h of z the transfer function should contain unit circle and the poles should lies inside the unit circle so if these two conditions are satisfied so we can say this is a stable otherwise the, it's a unstable system here also h of n equal to minus a power n u of n so the minus a greater than 1 so it's h of z equal to z by z plus a so that pole value z equal to minus a now the roc greater than modulus of minus a so here modulus of minus a is greater than 1 so the minus a pole that will be lies outside of the unit circle ok so next so in this problem 
the system function does not contain the unit circle. So the ROC also outside of the unit circle and the pole also outside of the unit circle. So the ROC does not contain the unit circle and the poles does not lies inside the unit circle. The pole lies outside the unit circle. So the so we are telling this is a unstable system. Okay. So for the stability analysis, two conditions are there. Only the system transfer function does contain the unit circle. Second one, the poles will lies inside the unit circle. If these two conditions are satisfied, we can tell this is a stable system. Otherwise, it's an unstable system. Okay, thank you.